three brothers, all in their 50s, have been arrested after three women were found after going missing over a period of 10 years. Well, one of those women, Amanda Berry, disappeared 10 years ago, age 16, and she's reported to have escaped from the house with the help of a neighbour and raised the alarm. <laughs> United States, three young women who've been missing for more than a decade have been found alive. Amanda Berry and Gina De Jesus were teenagers when they disappeared from Seymour in Cleveland, Ohio. Police also found Michelle Knight, who was 20 years old when she vanished. A neighbor who helped them escape said one had a child. And she grabbed some little girl and had the little girl in her arm. She said, this is his daughter. Now, it didn't dawn on me who his was. I didn't know we were talking about him, my neighbor. I thought she meant another dude. And so this young lady identified herself as, as a your... man of bear. And she said, this is his child. And that girl's about 9, 10 years old. You know what I mean? And what about Gina De Jesus? And she was up there, too. Now, she didn't come out with Amanda. The police went in the house and, and, and got them. Relatives have expressed their shock and surprise that the women were found in a house a few blocks away from where they'd been abducted. According to the police, three women had been held in the house. Barry, Gina De Jesus, who was kidnapped in 2004 when she was 14, and Michelle Knight, who'd been missing since 2002. At least one of the women had a child in captivity. They were taken to a local hospital to be reunited with their families. We're in the process of evaluating their medical needs. Um, they appear to be in fair condition at the moment. Ohio police said they have arrested 52-year-old Ariel Castro, a public school bus driver, and his two brothers. Hospital staff won't comment on reports a child was found with the women, but screams can be heard in the back of Berry's 911 call. Two of the women were found just a few kilometres from where they were last seen. A relative says he's shocked the answer to their heartache was so close. And, and, and all this time, 10 years, nobody having figured nothing out about where she is at. And then this has come to an end, and it's right here in Seymour. How surprising is this? How shocking is this to the neighborhood? Oh, uh, man, we are really shocking, man. We're just grateful. Thanks, God. You know, we never we never um, 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 hope that um, something really, really did happen to her. We always hoped in that, um, the, that, that she was still living. In the coming hours and days, investigators hope to piece together more details of the women's ordeal. Well, neighbours knew all about the missing girls long before they were found. When they heard news of the rescue, they cheered Cleveland police officers in their patrol cars. Some veteran police officers have been working to find these girls for a decade. It's a great, it's a great day. I mean, it is just, uh, I, I, I can't tell you for uh, the families, uh, for these officers uh, that have been working these cases for all these years, um, it was just amazing to see the, uh, to see the emotion uh, on these uh, seasoned law enforcement officers when they went in there and saw Amanda and Gina and Michelle. It's just truly, truly uh, amazing, and it's uh, uh, you know, a blessing to the community and to the members of the police department and their families that um, that they're alive. So um, I can't tell you how how happy we are. We have uh, we have a lot of work to do yet, but um, this is a uh, this is a great great outcome that we have.